Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. How Hi, are teacher. you? Hi, Andrew. I'm good. Thanks for asking. So we are going to begin. Uh, today is basically our last class because tomorrow we are going to have the final exam. And before going to the last topic that we're going to study today that are quantifiers, I need you to tell me if you have questions or if everything is clear for you. Hello? No question, teacher. Okay, so there are no questions. Okay, so is everything clear? What we studied about the present continuous tense, um, simple present tense as well. Remember that we made a review about the auxiliary do and does. So no questions? No teacher. Okay. Just give me a few seconds that someone is writing to me that okay. That he or she's having problems with an exercise, but I don't know who that person is. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So if there are no questions, we will go and study the last topic that we have. And as I said to you before, this is about quantifiers. We are going to be studying that, and then we are going to be working in some exercises, okay? okay. So let's go. Okay, please let me know if you can listen to the video. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. 
Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, so this is the video that we have about quantifiers. You can see that here we have some examples. So you can see we have all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. So let me see. Um, Gerardo, can you read the first examples, please? All families have only one child. Ne nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, continue, Brian, please. Yes, teacher. Can you continue reading the next examples, please? Okay. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. Francisco, continue, please. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. Okay, and the last one, uh, Beatriz. No one gets married before the age. The age, before the age. The age. Yes, of eighteen. 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 Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have these quantifiers. We have a scale that means that all is a hundred percent. Okay, and then we have that zero is no one. Okay, so no one. When we're talking about no one. We're talking about a zero percent. So how about nearly all? Which percentage do you think it has? Or what do you think is the meaning of nearly all? Casi todos. Okay, thank you. And if we were going to give it a percentage, how much do you think it would be? Si le fuésemos a dar un porcentaje, ¿de cuánto le estaríamos dando acá? 80%. An 80% or a 90%? 90. 90%. Okay, yeah, we can say that it would be a 90%. So how about most? Eighty percent. An eighty percent. Okay. Then we have many. Seventy percent. Seventy percent. Okay, a seventy percent. A lot of. Sixty percent. A sixty percent. Yes. And then we have some that would be like the middle, the 50%. Then we have not many, a few, few, and no one. Okay. So let's continue. Um, here we have, okay, 
Okay, so here we have the way that we are going to be using quantifiers to make questions. So for example, uh, it says that we are going to use a quantifier and then we are going to use a plural noun and then we are going to have the verb plus a complement. So for example, we have nearly all women work nowadays, okay? Can you give me an example using any other quantifier? Uh-huh. Let's see, I'm going to choose someone. Um, Brian, can you give me an example, please? All children uh, play soccer. Okay, all children? Or some? Um, your example is some perfect. Children. Yeah, your example is excellent, believe me. Uh, but nowadays, probably it would be some of them because most of the time, children or most children are using cell phones. Okay? okay. So you can see we are using the quantifier, then we're using the plural noun. And we're using the complement. Thank you, Brian. Excellent. So let's see another example. Um, Gerardo. So let me just. Many people play soccer. Okay, many people play soccer. So right now is La Selecta is playing. And as you already know, the, well, they're losing, right? Estamos usando el presente continuo. La selecta is playing. They are losing the game, as always. Okay? What else can you tell me? Can you tell me a different example? For example, with no one, let me see, Raquel. Most, most women um, most women have have pets. Okay, most women have women have pets. Pets. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let's continue. And the last part that we have, or the last thing that was mentioned on the video was about no one. And it says that this is an exception. When we have no one, we're going to have the quantifier that is no one. Then we're going to have the verb. And if you can see the verb is in third person singular, no one gets married before the age of 18. Okay. Let's see another example using no one. Um, Francisco. No one wants to die now. Okay, yes. No one wants to die now. Yeah, excellent. And that is true. Let's see another example, uh, Tamara. Yes. Uno de, 
my my I don't my mother only have one and I will receive I know no one song I don't know it's okay or may go the question okay yeah on um, this case when we are using the quantifier no one we are going to use the verb we don't need a subject Mm -hmm. So you can say no one in my family, you can say that, wants to have children. No one wants to have children. Nadie quiere tener hijos, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or as in the example that we have here, no one gets married before the age of 18. Probably here in our country, right? Or we can also say, no one um, wants to spend a lot of money. Okay? Nadie quiere gastar mucho dinero. Because we're going basically, what well, we're almost, we're getting closer to the holidays, to holidays. And you know that there's a lot of things that people want to buy or that we might spend. So we can say that. Okay, another question? Teacher. Yes? For example, no one plays handball. Okay, no one plays handball, excellent. Another example? No one likes to love. No one likes? To lose. To lose. lose. Okay, excellent. No one likes to lose. Okay, what else? Okay, so any other question? Or is everything clear about quantifiers? Teacher, pudiéramos ver algunos ejemplos usando eh, eh, many and a lot of. Okay, yes, we can. Just give me a few seconds. I'm just looking for um, a presentation that I have about quantifiers. And because we also need to study and see the difference between a few and few. If you could see, uh, or if you remember on the video, sorry. We have that information as well. So let me share it with you. And here it is. So we have many, a lot of, and some. Then we have not many, a few, and few. So let's take a look to that information right now. Okay, so for example, you can see that here I have a few and a few, but also we have here little and a little, but we are going to focus right now only on few and a few, okay? So for example, we have few that is going to be used with plural countable nouns and a few with plural countable nouns. So what's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces between few and a few? The difference between few and a few is the meaning. Few means not many, not enough. And a few means some or a small amount. Aquí tenemos lo que es la diferencia de few and a few, ¿ok? Es decir que el few significa no muchos, no suficiente. 
¿ok? En a few, some, algo, una pequeña cantidad. So, we have here, few, not many. And let me see. Um, Selena. Selena, can you hear me? Ok. ¿Dónde tenemos las preguntas o cuáles son las dudas? Eh, no sé cómo puedo utilizarlo. Vaya, ahorita vamos con eso. Ahorita solo vamos a leer lo que es la información que tenemos acá. Few, can you help me reading the information, please? Okay, few, uh, not many, few, normally, convey, 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 a negative idea. Okay. He has few, he has few good friends, negative idea, no, no, you know. Uh, few people went to the concert. Uh, there are few honest politicians. 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 Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have few. That means not many. So the examples, or the first example that we have says, he has few good friends. It means that he has not enough or that he doesn't have enough good friends. Then we have few people went to the, court, the, to the concert, sorry, meaning that not many people went to the concert. And then we have, there are a few, there are few, sorry, there are few honest politicians, meaning that not, we don't have many honest politicians. So you can see that here we are talking about a negative idea. Is that clear? Yes? Y algunos ejemplos de uh, a few. A eso vamos. Pero con el few, ¿alguna pregunta? No? no teacher. Okay, so let's see okay. a few. So here we have a few. And let me see. Um, Brian, can you help me reading that information, please? A few. Um, he has a few friends that will help. Positive idea, small amount. I have a few days of next month. She has won a few hours. Okay, thank you, Brian. So we have here a few. That means some. Or that is the same to say a small amount. Que sería lo mismo decir una pequeña cantidad. So a few normally conveys a positive idea. So the difference between few and a few is that few conveys a negative idea and a few conveys a positive idea. So he has a few friends that will help. So he has a small amount of friends that will help. Okay? Es decir, que él tiene una pequeña cantidad de amigos que lo ayudarán. I have a few days off next month. Tengo algunos, estamos acá, some, Días libres el siguiente mes. Yo ya los tengo contados. Probablemente sean solamente cinco. But I have a small amount of days off. Tengo una pequeña cantidad de días libres. So then we have, she has won a few awards. No sabemos cuántos premios ha ganado. Solo sabemos que es una pequeña cantidad. So for example, it could be five or it could be two or three or probably just one, for example, okay? So that would be basically the difference between a few and few. Is that clear? See? 
No. Few, few is a positive, is a negative idea. Negative idea, yes. Uh, and uh, few is a positive idea. Positive idea, correct. It okay. means a small amount. Okay, a small okay. amount, una pequeña cantidad. And few, not enough, as we just said it, it means not many or not enough. No mucho o algo que no es suficiente. Okay? Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see another one. Okay, on the video we also have, let me see, some. ¿Cuánto dijimos que era el sum en porcentaje? 50%. Okay, so can you tell me an example using that quantifier sum? Anyone? So how many of you are watching the the game? ¿Alguno de ustedes está viendo lo que es el partido de la selecta, no? No, teacher. No? No one? Ok. No, no es para regañarlos, es para dar ejemplos. Ok. So, how many of you thought that the selecta was going to win? ¿Cuántos pensaron que la selecta iba a ganar? I what? think not. I think not. <laughs> uh huh. So we can say no one thought the selecta was going to win. Nadie pensó que la selecta iba a ganar. But we can say most of us or most people thought the selecta was going to lose. La mayoría de las personas pensaron que la selecta iba a perder. Si no me equivoco, ahorita iban como 6 a 0, algo así. Something like that. Ok. So, tell me. Díganme, ¿está esto claro? ¿Tienen preguntas o tienen dudas? O los he dejado algo perdiditos. No. No, teacher, yo ya les he entendido. Okay, thank you. Bien, entonces vámonos con lo siguiente. Si ustedes se recuerdan, tenemos lo que es many. We have another quantifier that is many and we also have a lot of. So, let's go with many. Let me see. Raquel, can you read that information, please? Many. Many. Plural. 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 nouns. There aren't many chairs in the room. I don't have many friends. Do you think many people will go? Okay, thank you. So with many, as you can see, we are going to use it with countable nouns. El many lo vamos a usar con nombres contables. 
Here we have some examples. They're adding many chairs in the room. I can say that they're adding many students in the class. Um, they're adding uh, many coffee cups, for example. Or in the case, let me just share that right now. O como veíamos anteriormente, ¿verdad? En el caso de los quantifiers, here we have many families are smaller these days. Muchas familias son pequeñas estos días. Okay? We can say many children are using cell phones. Muchos niños están usando celulares. Okay? Uh, many people are getting sick these days. Muchas personas se están enfermando estos días. Okay? Or we can also say a lot of people are getting sick. No puedo decir some porque ya no ni siquiera estamos en el some. Ya vamos casi subiendo. If we start talking about the pandemic. Okay? So, questions? Many, entonces, para plurales cuantificables. Correcto. El many se utiliza okay. cuando yo puedo contabilizar. So, okay. for example, I can count people, I can count uh, apples, I can also count chairs, I can count um, animals, etc. Ok. Ok. Okay, any other question? No teacher. No, okay, so what we are going to do right now is to work in breakout rooms. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar entonces en salas pequeñas. You are going to be working, I think that in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas entonces. Y algunos en grupos de tres. And I need you to work in your own examples. Quiero que trabajen en sus propios ejemplos usando quantifiers, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. So, let's go right now. Hola, Rafael. Hola, Beatriz. Hola, Selena. Hi, girls. I'm listening to you. Only examples. Yes, I need you to work in your own examples, please. All children like play. All children like uh -huh. play. Like to play. Play to play. Yes. Let's see another example. I saw a few days. This is next month. 
I have a few days. Quiero decir ocupado. Ah. Es que podría. Yes, you can use busy. I have a few busy days next month. Or next week. week. Our next week, yes. Uh -huh. week. Okay, so I'll let you practice it. I'll get back with you in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, I want to listen to you practicing. Can you tell me if you finish working on your examples? Hi. Hi, Tisha. Did you finish working on your examples? I have five examples. Okay. Can you tell me one of them, please? For example, old people eat pupusas. Old people eat Pupusas. Eat without S, sin la S. Old people eat. Eat pupusas. Okay. Thank you. Uh, she has a few money in the bank. A few money. Aha. Uh -huh. A few money. Okay. Can I count money? Puedo contar el dinero? Yes. Um, okay, in that case, Gerardo, let me tell you that money is uncountable. El dinero es algo no contable. Y cuando uso lo que es few and a few, lo voy a utilizar con nombres que son contables. ¿Ok? Ya ahora, si yo quiero decir que tiene poco dinero, ahí utilizaría lo que es little. That is uncountable now. For example, if you can see my screen, it says... Uh, they have little money to spend. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque es algo no contable. Pero lo que es few and a few, lo voy a utilizar con sustantivos contables. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. At night. At night. Mm -hmm. Sleep at night. And the next, um, no many. Um, Mm, 
Um, mm. Oops, no sé acá. No many families. Uh, uh, travel together. Problem. De viajar, tra travel. Ah, travel. So many fam. And the next. A few. A. A few Okay, so we are going to listen to your examples right now. Let's see, do I have a volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Let's listen to you. Uh, oh, people like to go to the beach. Okay, excellent. Let's see another one. Yo, siempre. Choose another person, please. Ah, okay. Eh, Tamara. Most you like to look nice. Ah, eso lo dije, perdón. Nearly all friends drink coffee every day in the morning. Okay, excellent. Let's see another one. Choose another person, Tamara, please. Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz. Con cualquiera. Any, uh, any of your examples, please. Cualquiera de sus ejemplos. Bueno, tengo... Um, I have some money. I have money, money book on the table. Um, there was no one was in the house. If I just have a few drinks. Okay. Uh, can you repeat again the the one that you said about the house? The house. Yes. There was no one was in the house. Okay, there was no one in the house. Mm -hmm. Or you can say no one was in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Beatrice. Can you choose another person, please? Um, Selena. Okay, Selena. For example, uh, many person like uh, walk in the mountain. Okay, walk. men. It's 
estaría bien, teacher. Many people. All people. Ah, sí, es cierto. Mirad. Eh, all right. Para decir que le gusta caminar en las montañas. Like to walk or like walking. Like to walk or like to walk in the mountain. Mountain. Okay. Okay, excellent. So let's see now, Raquel. For the example, please. Um, a few men want married. Excellent. A few men want to get married. Okay, okay perfect. Let's see, Brian. Um, all person have a cell phone and many children play video games these days. A few person and shop clouds. Okay, a few people. A few people shop clouds. Okay, um, all people have all cell people. phones. And you said many children, no le agregamos ese, many children play video games. Excellent. And okay. let's see, Gerardo, yours. All people eat pupusas. Uh -huh. Many didn't present homework. Many? Didn't. Many what? Muchos que? Many people. Ah, okay. Many people didn't present homework. homework. Okay, excellent. Mm. Not many are vegetarian. Not many people are? Vegetarian. Okay, thank you, Gerardo. So I know that most of you have already worked on these exercises, but this is just as a review. You could, you can see that here, number one says in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So if we are using a quantifier, which is going to be the correct option, The first one. The first one? Yes. A lot of women get married by the age of 22? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Then we have, in Australia, 80% of married couples have children. The last one. The last one? Yes. Can you read it, please? In Australia, nearly of all married couples have children. Thank you. Then we have, in the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. The last one. Can you read it, Brian, please? In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Excellent. Then we have, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. The second one. The second one? Okay. And the last one says, 78% of American high school students have jobs. Have jobs, sorry. The first one. Can you read it, please? Most American high school students have jobs. Okay, excellent. So let's check. Okay, let's wait.
Ok, no se envió. Ajá, you see? We got Ay, 20. La primera. Ajá, y, y, I'm asking you, les estoy preguntando y ustedes me dicen. I'm number just, four. Ajá, number four, is, what is it? Most people in Germany live alone. Most people or some people? Some people. Some people. Some yeah, people. we have we have here at 35%. Tenemos un 35%. Y el most, dijimos que anda como por un 80, algo así. So let's check now. Veamos ahora. Ok, there we go. Thank you. Ahí estamos bien. Ok, so uh, the last thing that we are going to do, we are going to read um, this article about the changing family. That it is here. And then we are going to answer the questions that we have. So let me see. We have the changing family. Read the title of the article, then check the questions you think the article will answer. We have, why do women work outside the home? And what happens when both parents work? Mm -hmm. So we're going to begin, let me see, with Raquel. The first paragraph, please, here. American families are changing. 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 One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the morals family. Thank you. Continue, Beatriz. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Just 12, Ben, Knight, and Emily, six. Steven is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. Administrator, no sé cómo. Administrator. Administrator. The family needs the money and Judy life. Her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay, thank you. Selena, continue, please. Now that Judy is working, she still has to count her mom in the household. She doesn't enjoy it. Okay, excellent. Tamara? Lo siento, se me queda de trabajar el teléfono. Este, okay. ¿Qué parte? Judy. Eh, Judy loves her work, but she fits to, to tie it. And by, and bus. And busy. She also, bus, busy. And busy. She also works for the children. Judy has to work on Saturday, so still, Steve and you don't have a lot of free time together. Thank you. Continue, Brian. Emily is having a great time in, in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Thank you, Francisco. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Thank you. And the last part, Gerardo? Josh, Josh is enjoying his a new freedom. After school, he's playing this music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay, excellent. So that is the reading that we have about the changing family. 
now there are some questions that we need to answer. So, for example, um, okay, just let me erase the answers. But in the meantime, tell me, question number one says, uh, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Based on the reading. Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Josh. Emily? And? Josh. And Josh. Okay, and which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Ben. Okay, so we have Ben. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? And Josh. Josh. Okay, yeah, he's the little one. Okay, uh, which family member are doing more housework? Steve and, Steve Joe. and Josh. Okay. And which family member feels to be easy? Judy. Judy. Okay, is Judy. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Okay. Uh, eso es prácticamente todo lo que es el... La sección 5, ¿verdad? Lo que es este curso, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta o duda. Mañana decía, teacher, uh, abrí examen final. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, today was the last class. O sea, hoy era la última clase y mañana hacemos lo que es ya el examen final. Ok, mañana lo resolvemos acá entre todos para ver cómo estamos o por si alguien todavía no lo ha realizado o ha tenido dificultad con alguna parte para irla clarificando aquí. ¿verdad? Ok. Ah, ok. ¿Qué es la última parte que está en la plataforma? Sí. Ah, ok. Ya. Quiero ver si es lo último. Déjenme ver, yo recuerdo que ya lo hice. Generalmente no lo hago, ¿verdad? Para que, para no estar ahí que borrando respuestas y todo, pero sí, ya lo hice, ya vi. Ya lo tengo todo completo. Ok, pero sí, mañana lo estaríamos resolviendo acá. Ok. Ok. Okay, another question? No. See? No. No questions? Okay. No teacher. Okay, no so question. excellent. So if there are no more questions, we will stop here and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thanks. You're okay, welcome. Teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night.